Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now, here from the Sans Souci Palace and Gardens in Potsdam, Germany, a world heritage site that's increasingly threatened by climate change. Heat waves, droughts and heavy rain are all taking their toll on this 300-year-old landscape. So can it survive for the next 300 years? Well, that's our story coming up, but first, the latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. Globally, we just had the hottest August on record, with temperatures 0.7 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average. It was also the hottest season from June to August on record. August saw heat waves in Portugal, Italy, France, North Africa and across the central and southern United States. The heat waves hit the oceans too. The lines on this graph show daily global sea surface temperatures every year. Since the early 80s, there's a marked rise. But look at the red line for 2023, over half a degree on average warmer than previous years, another record high. Moving on to Antarctica, where it's winter time, we can see that sea ice concentrations were below average in large areas shaded in red on this map. There was also a record low for August in terms of sea ice extent, the measure of areas where at least 15% of the ocean is frozen. Antarctic sea ice extent has been at unprecedented low levels since May this year. And now to our story. Europe has many historic gardens and palaces like this, landmarks that were built to last. But can they survive in the face of accelerating climate change? In the 18th century, this was Frederick the Great's summer playground, the Prussian king naming it Sans Souci, a place without a care. But today, with a million visitors a year, there is plenty to care for. And with the onslaught of climate change, there's plenty to be concerned about too, according to garden director Michael Roda. Wir spüren hier die Auswirkungen des Klimawandels seit ungefähr ähm, zehn Jahren, aber die letzten sechs Jahre waren deutlich heftiger. Es regnet hier weniger. Die Hitzeauswirkungen, die Boden trocknen aus, die Grundwasseranreicherung klappt nicht mehr. Und natürlich haben wir auch die Frage der Abgänge der Bäume dadurch als Konsequenz. The ongoing low groundwater levels leave the trees more susceptible to fungus and insects. The number of trees dying here annually has risen from a few dozen 20 years ago to several hundred today. Conservationist Katerina Matea has now introduced irrigation, something previously considered unthinkable in a historic garden in a relatively wet country like Germany. An so einem exponierten Standort wie hier müssen wir jetzt einfach durchgehend bewässern und es funktioniert gut. They're also experimenting with planting natural samplings from the parkland rather than buying in trees from nurseries as before. The idea is that young plants that have survived here have a better chance of resisting drought and heat in the future. Unsere Hoffnung ist, dass dieser Baum besser an den Standort angepasst ist als ein Baum, der aus der Baumschule kommt, wo er verwöhnt wird mit Nährstoffen und Wasser, dass dieser Baum hier sich besser entwickeln kann. Some of the Sans Souci palaces are now suffering from more extreme weather, particularly high humidity that damages furniture and wall coverings, according to conservationist Katrin Lange. Ganz offensichtlich sind zum Beispiel Taupunktwechsel, wenn das Wasser die Wände runterläuft, wenn wir Schimmelbildung in den Ecken haben, wenn sich die Materialien gegeneinander bewegen und damit von den Untergründen lösen. Das sind alles Klimaveränderungen, die diese Reaktion auslösen. In the last decade, it has become more difficult for the managers here to conserve this treasured site as it was when Prussian royals enjoyed it. The landscape can't be modified. Trees, paths and waterways should remain as the designers intended. There is hope it can be done. Wenn wir alle Anpassungsstrategien umsetzen und auch vielleicht angepasste Gehölze und Bäume verwenden, dann können wir die Grundstruktur bewahren. As you can see, it's going to be a huge challenge to conserve these cultural heritage sites for the future as the planet warms. And you can read more about it on euronews.com slash climate now. And I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.